Hello YouTube, uh, today I thought I would show you how to lubricate uh, this uh, fan motor from EBM Pabst It's an M4Q uh, slash 45 something, yeah Anyway, I start here by removing the four torques uh, uh, holding this motor together They are very simple to work on, these engines So they're, they're shaded pole motors, so no capacitor needed. But these motors are not especially effective. They are they're pulling quite a quite some power for the power they go out. So sort of 31 watts in or and 7 watts of output. Anyway, here the the gasket is broken, but I'm um, just it's very dry. Yeah. These are the bushings inside, one of them, there are two of them in this motor and you got four windings there, or at least it looks like four windings, might be just two. And we got the rotor here, it's a sort of induction motor, but it's a, yeah, the, the plastic bit there that I took, the white one, turned out to be broken. So, and I'm gonna remove it here trying by hand but no luck so I'm using this plier to remove it I think you just uh, yeah drag it off <laughs> so now you can pull it apart and let's check that looks really dirty gonna clean it here just using a so paper towel getting all the, the the crap See, out. You can pull this up and then you can sort of push it up and clean it thoroughly. Yeah, you can remove that. I'm not that gonna do that. Every that time I do cup. something like that, something broke breaks. So I'm just gonna try to clean it and then you can you can sort of move this around and yeah, just clean it and then I put some SA30 oil on it. So I bought some lawn mover oil. It's SA30 from Biltema here in Sweden. And I'm using a pipette here to sort of get the oil in a bit more easier for not spilling. And just oiling away here. The other part here, same thing there. Since it's not filtered, it does... Uh, it doesn't last long. I'm cleaning the, the axle, the shaft, I believe you say. Trying to get the dirt and the, the, the small pieces that has been thorn of the axle running. So this engine uh, is starting to, uh, this motor is starting to sound, so that's why I'm lubricating it. Trying to get it to last a bit more longer. It's on its last toe otherwise. So I'm putting it back here. Trying it out, it does spin. So, this is the brand name EBM Pabst M4Q. So, they're called the Q, Q motor, and uh, <coughs> they don't use any felt. I have another one where I've removed this cup here. You can see it's only grease down there. So, this won't last, of course. They will run dry. You can see that on the shaft here that is torn, where the it's been rubbing around here inside here. Of course, since it doesn't get any lubrication. So this is pretty much. Maybe they maybe run for a year or two or three, and then they're. They broke in the fans, so I wouldn't recommend them. But uh, yeah, gonna try to make this one last. Gotta keep lubricating if you if you have the guts or <laughs> not the guts if you have the tenaci tenacity to do it. So this bushing doesn't move; it's just the shaft, the axle. That turns around inside. And this can you can sort of self-adjust them. 
but uh, this doesn't turn it just holds it in place so ball bearing is much better if you want a long lasting fan so let's put it back together and lubrication Much cleaner now. See, cleaner. So putting it back here, trying it out. You can see that you can turn the shaft, the axle. It's a self-adjusting, but it's gotta be aligned anyway. So here we're mm, putting mm, back this the gasket. One has a, uh, gasket, but uh, the older one doesn't have it, I believe. Must be some updated version or that you can order them with gasket for better some sort of uh, IP or something. Putting back the lid here with the Pretty gasket, bad, but, but the this with some better ones. Yeah, the torques on this one was really bad had shape, and they were a bit gasket. longer since these were gaskets, so I had to yeah. take some other shorter one, and Which then I had to remove the gasket. So now putting it back together with a nut on the other side and uh, you're tapping here on the shaft to make it align. So I have hooked it up again and fly it in. Yeah, wow. You can barely hear it, right? So it's turning now. So and it's Pretty quiet. Yeah, the oil is definitely doing its thing. So that's pretty much it. I thought I would stop there and uh, I'll do some. Uh, I have some other videos about these uh, uh, motors, fan motors, so you can check them out in the video section of my channel. Okay, bye bye.